This is Phil Stukenborg on the Tiger football beat. What a difference a week makes, and what a difference a week makes when you have a healthy running back. Memphis got Curtis Steele back, and the senior from Franklin, Tennessee rushed for 240 yards and two touchdowns to help the Tigers beat UTEP. He also caught a touchdown pass from senior Will Hudgens. Hudgens making his first start in two years, threw for three touchdowns. Will was playing for Tyler Bass, who's sidelined with a shoulder injury and he may not be back. Memphis also got improved play from its defense. Several transfers are starting to come into their own. Among them, Justin Thompson and Tim McGee on the front line, Jamon Hughes at linebacker, and Marcus Ball at safety. Ball had two interceptions in the game. They'll need that kind of defensive effort to beat Southern Miss. Southern Miss has lost its quarterback much like Memphis, but they have a strong running game. Damian Fletcher and Torrey Harrison lead the running attack. Damian Fletcher is the second leading rusher in Conference USA history. Only D'Angelo Williams has rushed for more yards. And Southern Miss has the top receiver in Conference USA. That's DeAndre Brown, who's been injured earlier in the year, but he is healthy and he should be a threat. While Tiger coach Tommy West hadn't had an abundance of signature wins during his Tiger career, he has done something few coaches in the past have done at Memphis. He's beaten Southern Miss consistently. Memphis has won four of the last five games against Southern Miss, including two straight. For the Tiger football beat, this is Phil Stukenborg.